Hey, what's up YouTube land? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Animated Sons of Cybertron Crystal Deluxe Class Optimus Prime. My god, that's a lot to say. But anyway, here we are, and there he is. Our Crystal Optimus full of crystal -y crystal goodness crystal. As you can see here, I actually like this mold. For, for me personally, this truck mode anyway, the truck mode is a lot more screen accurate than the Voyager mold. I think this looks a lot better. But, um, yeah, very, very nice. Of course, you know, if you ignore the giant axe hanging off the back of it, which you can take off if you want. It's just, the, you know, it's, it's the weapon storage option that they give you, but if you don't want it just hanging off the back of the truck... You can take it off. Although it does hold his legs together, but you don't really need it hanging there. It rolls very well, as rolling things should. And it rolls as rolling things tend to do. Whee! Okay. But yes, very cool. Like all the nice silver paint apps here. Very nice silver paint apps here on the front. This is not painted though, this is just that regular gray plastic. The gray plastic smokestacks. See? They pop right off. But yeah. The majority of this figure is that nice translucent plastic. And we'll put him up to the light. He doesn't really have the kind of translucent quality that Rodimus has though because Mainly because there's probably a lot going on in the cab section here. There are a lot of parts in the cab section. So the light doesn't really kind of shine through like it should. Like it does with Rodimus. But it's okay though. It's still pretty cool. And speaking of which, here is the Crystal Rodimus. For size comparison. Right there. And here is Voyager Optimus Prime. You can see here the size difference. And again, like I said, like this one, the truck mode is a lot more screen accurate in my opinion than this is. I do love this one, but this one I think looks better. This truck mode looks better. But yeah. All in all though, very, very nice. Got a nice Autobot symbol going on there, and everything. Very, very nice figure. So we'll just get down to transformation. What you want to do is you want to take these legs here, untab them, and extend them. Untab it from this section here, and extend it. And you want to rotate it at the knee, bring his little toe up, like so. Then you take this whole section and it just slides back and then you bring it forward like that. And you come here, you take the front part of the cab section, untab it, bring it down, you can bring his head up. And this little, this tab right here will tab into this notch right here in his waist and lock all that into place like so. And then, you raise your camera. Not you, me. I raise my camera. But anyway, you come here, and you separate these two pieces right here, which are going to be his arms. You bring them down. You rotate the arms forward, bring them down, extend them. Flip out the fist. Bring the arm down, unfold it, flip out the fist. You take these two panels right here, fold them down, and then take this right here and just collapse it down behind his back. Like so. And there you have them. And of course you can't hold this giant axe. The axe of murderous rage. Or justice, whichever you prefer. 
and we'll hold them up to the light here and the light does kind of shine through them a lot better in this mount very nice looks awesome when they're backlit and his upper thigh is just regular plastic it's not translucent as is his waist here and this kind of neck joint here it's just regular gray plastic and the joints here in his elbows they couldn't do everything in the translucent plastic I understand that it doesn't really take away from the figure in my opinion but yeah very cool the joints on mine are a little loose though, like he just, maybe it's just mine, but he is a little floppy, but still very nice. So we'll bring in this guy here, and we'll transform him through magic! MAGIC! Now what, what are you doing? Put that down! Jeez. I think he's still a little bitter about that whole, you're not better than Optimus thing. God, get over it, dude. But anyway, as you can see here, the Sons of Cybertron are finally side by side, united, supposedly, Rodimus. But anyway, two very, very nice figures. That make for a really great set. And I believe Big Bad Toy Store is already shipping these out. And uh, it's definitely something you should pick up. I know a lot of people are not a fan of the clear figures, but I think they're they're a nice little novelty piece. I think they're really cool looking. You know, so we have the Ghost of Rodimus and the Ghost of Optimus Prime. Because as far as I'm concerned, since they're clear, they're ghosts. So we have the Ghosts of Cybertron. The ghosts of leader past and the ghosts of leader future. Or past future. Or future past because Optimus keeps coming. It doesn't matter. Look. It, never mind. But, um. Awesome set. Definitely pick it up. You, you will not regret it the least bit. It's just too cool. So, that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is. The Transformers Animated Sons of Cybertron Crystal Deluxe Optimus Prime, and this is Emgo, rolling out.